Hey everyone, this is Asma Khali from Cloud Pages and in today's video we'll be talking about how to avoid an excessive DOM size. So when a browser presents you with a page, what it is doing is it is building a tree-like structure of the HTML structure of your page. So based on that, we can say a whole tree-like structure, cascading tree-like structure is created. That structure is known as document object model or DOM for short. So that DOM is consisted of multiple nodes, it's consisted of multiple uh, depths of child elements, of parent elements, of root nodes and all of these will create a beautiful tree. Now the complexity of this tree might affect your page loading or your page size. The heaviness of your page totally depends upon these elements. Now there are a number of ways you can avoid that heaviness and you can decrease your DOM size. So there are actually five ways in which you can very easily decrease your DOM size. Number one is dividing large pages into multiple pages. So for example on one page you can have your contact forms, your posts and you, you want a lesser DOM size for that page. So what you can do is you can create one page for your contact form and one and multiple pages for each one of your posts which will in decrease your DOM size. And you can simply link the pages for, for the newly created pages on the initial page. Number two is to that CSS should never be used to hide the undesired elements. For example, uh, by using display colon none, it will hide it from the view, but it will not affect the HTML structure at all. So the viewer, the viewer might not see it, but the heaviness of the page doesn't change. The DOM size doesn't change for that. Number three is don't use pl uh, plugins that are not well coded. So there might be a number of plugins out there. They are newly created every day, but they might not be uh, good for your DOM site. So what you can do is you can, before uh, installing and activating a plugin, you can check out, you can test out your pages. And after you install and activate new plugins, you can check out their uh, your test uh, you can test out your pages you can check out their speeds and so that you can know which plugin is better optimized for your page number four is to remove any unneeded elements from your default theme so for example you might be using an uh, an e-commerce theme which has an add to card which has a COD button and you don't need those in your page so what you can do is you can remove them yourself or you can ask the builder to please just remove them from uh, your theme or to custom make you a theme that doesn't that don't have those elements and by removing those unnecessary elements what you're doing is what you are basically decreasing your page size and you're decreasing your DOM size number five is to use the most latest version of your page builder since the most latest version will always be more uh, optimized than the one before. Now I'm going to show you three ways in which you can decrease your DOM size. So there is a technical way to decrease your DOM size um, and there are two more ways to lazy load your comments and to lazy load your images. So I'm going to show you a little demonstration in which you can see all three of them. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to show you how you can technically reduce your DOM size. And then I'm going to show you how you can reduce the DOM size by essentially lazy loading your comments and lazy loading your images. So for the first part, let, let me open up a dummy post that I have already created. Now, technically, let me open this up first. Now technically when you will see and go through the HTML code of your post, you will see something like this somewhere. A code within a div block. Now div is essentially a, a container, a block in which will create another node in your tree-like structure. So right now I can see that this block is giving me this result. But I can achieve the same level of result by eliminating the need of a div with a simpler code. 
Now when I do this and I get a preview, it's the same result. So why not use a simpler term instead of a div block, which will create another node. I'm removing that node and essentially creating a simpler piece of code. Uh, you can do this with complete with all of your uh, post by simply clicking on an element going to these three option buttons and clicking on add it as HTML and you'll see your code you you can go through all of your page or posts like this and if you think that there is a piece of code that can be made simpler or can be made less heavy uh, less heavier on the page or the post make those changes technically uh, remove the extra blocks make the code simpler as simple as possible to achieve the same number uh, same level of result with much less heavier dom sites so that's how you can technically reduce uh, the size of your dom okay let's just go back to our dashboard now Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can uh, essentially decrease your DOM size by lazy loading comments. So go into plugins from here, go into add new, search for lazy load comments, scroll down and click on install. Now I'm going to use this one with 6000 plus active installations. It's installed, click on activate. Once it is activated, it is ready to use. Now go into settings and go into discussion. Okay, scroll down to lazy load comments. Now this option is here uh, because of this plugin. So with this plugin, you get the option of on scroll and on click. Now by rule, on scroll is always on, which means that your comments will load as you scroll down. But sometimes I want that I don't want the comments to load at first. I want to give the user the option to load the comments. I mean, why should my user just see the comments if he or she doesn't want to? So what they can is they have the option to see the comments or if they don't want to, they can just go through my page or their or my post and just leave the comments as it is, which will essentially decrease the rendering time and which will uh, decrease the DOM size. So let me go click on on click, scroll down and save changes. Now let me go to my dummy post and view it. Now when I scroll down, you will be able to see a little button over here. Now, right now my dome size is quite small since I am eliminating all of my page size by removing my comments and giving the option of viewing comments. So if I click on this button, I'll be able to see all of my comments over here. Now, this is a very great option. Right now, I only have 26 comments, uh, a little comments uh, in my post, but it's a really great option if you have like hundreds or thousands of comments on a page and it will take that much more time to load it. Your page will be or post will be that much more heavier. So eliminating those auto scroll uh, comments you are essentially reducing your page size so that is how you can lazy load your comments now let's check out how you can lazy load your images so right now my page has a couple of images in it so i don't want them to load in the, in the very big so right now i only have three images in my post but think about a post which has like 50 or 100 images in it how much more heavier that page will be. I, I would want that only the images that my user is seeing is loading as in the runtime. So what I'm going to do is go into plugin, click on add new. From here, I'm going to search for lazy load WP rocket. and select this one. This is for images, iframes and replace YouTube videos by a preview of thumbnails. So if your page or post has a, a video over here, uh, they will uh, remove the video and replace it with the thumbnail of your video. So essentially reducing your page size as well. So let's install it and let's activate it. 
once activated go into settings and you will be able to see a lazy load option now over here let's click on that now i have images iframes and videos and replace youtube videos by thumbnail you can select all three you can select just one whichever is good enough for you once you do that click on save changes and that's it it will be done so after that when you open for example i have 100 images on my post so as i scroll down my picture will only then be loaded other other than that the images underneath these will not be loaded so quickly so that is how you can lazy load your images so uh, if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe cloud pages